Right, let's mix it up a little bit with multiplication and division. So let's do divided by two and a half. Okay, now important, we've said this before in previous videos, we're multiplying and dividing, so we're going to change all of those into improper fractions. We all know by now, three times two is six, plus one is seven over three. Four times one is four, plus one is five over four. Divided by two times two is four, plus one is five over, denominator the same. Yes. Look what we've got. Multiply and divide. And by now, we're all clued up. We all know that we're going to take the example of the man with the big nose, with the big schnoz, and something's going to happen to that top-heavy fraction. It's going to be, can you remember the mathematical word? The word is invert. So we're going to invert it. We're going to flip it over. Okay? If you remember it as flip over, that's fine. So it's always the fraction that comes after the division sign. Okay. So 7 over 3 times 5 over 4. Multiply. Okay. And 5 over 2, we flipped it over, so it becomes 2 over 5. Now let's not go down this route, 7 times 5 times 2 and get a number, 3 times 4 times 5 and get a number. Let's first simplify this up and down or across. You can go from there to there, it doesn't matter, from there to there or there to there. Any way you can except across, okay, across the sign. Let's look. I've spotted that 5 goes into itself once and 5 goes into itself once. Yeah, 2 goes into itself once, and 2 goes into 4 twice. Is there anywhere else? 2 and 7, 3 and 1? No. So we can start getting towards our answer now. 7 times 1 times 1 is 7. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. And that's my answer. Nope, definitely not. It is top-heavy. We need to simplify it. And our final answer how many sixes are there in seven? How many times can six go into seven? Once, what's left over? One over the same denominator. And there we go. So in this instance, we had a multiply and a divide. And all we had to remember once we've changed them to improper fractions was to invert the fraction that comes after the division sign. Okay? It changed to a multiply. We simplified our answer. And there we go.